Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome to the first episode of the new series. This was the most heavily voted for uh, series to run the Iowa map with seasons. So that is what we are going to be doing. Uh, to, first off, um, I'm going to start by saying for the moment we are going to run crops uh, and crops only we're gonna run a kind of a mix of newer older equipment larger smaller just kind of a variety of equipment uh, you'll see some of the some equipment from the Midwest Horizon series in this series as well um, but not everything um, we may possibly get into animals in the future um, you guys put in the comments down below if you would like for us to get into pigs, cows, or both. Um, and that's probably something that in the future we will uh, look at getting into. Um, but for the time being, we're just going to start off doing some crops. Um, I mean, granted, right now we can't really do much of anything with animals anyways. So um, what we're going to be doing today is we... I, the only thing I've done with this is I went in and I opened up all the shed doors and then I saved it, went in and edited in all of the money from our last series, um, all the money that we made at the end of Midwest Horizons and I put that in here, the 3.4 some odd million dollars. Um, we are going to make a little bit of extra money because I didn't sell the starting equipment yet, so we're going to sell that and use that money towards our equipment and also expanding our land so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump on into it here uh, we're gonna get the thing for the place anywhere uh, let it scan our fields I did also set it so that course play workers uh, earn the uh, hourly wage so do get a little bit of leg here in the farmyard um, but with the amount of detail that is in this yard that is kind of expected honestly um, I did forget about this shed down here so we do need to go open the doors on this shed uh, I completely spaced this one um, I think that's the only other one because this is part of the barn so we got our fuel tanks here um, we got our grain silos here we don't need an auger to fill the silo. Uh, we can just pull up right here. There is a trigger at this auger. Uh, but we do need a smaller auger for unloading the bins. Uh, at our home farm anyways. Uh, down in this shed we got the starting combine. Uh, the two headers and the header trailer. And then all of our other machinery is up there. Um, here we got our... Uh, stock lot uh, where we can get our cows and then up here um, oh I did forget another one here we got our garage uh, one of our garages I should say uh, we do have two but uh, this barn here uh, if we get into animals this is probably where the hay and straw is going to get stored or at least some of it and then we got more area down here for our cattle um, and then up here we have our hog uh, set up so we can get our pigs here and then over here we got oh I guess it didn't it didn't save all my doors being open that's why here we got another garage um, area so we got that and then we also have our machine shed up here uh, we got our cultivator sitting there that we start with and we got a couple tractors and our drill and we got a sprayer a tank uh, we got a loader and a couple of attachments so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and go on in here we're gonna sell 6230R uh, our 6155M our T560 uh, grain trailer get all this crap sold that we don't need but we're gonna keep this silage bag I think that if I go 
here and go to silos. Um, I've seen it in here. Here it is. Let's see. Can we see what it is? Okay. So this is this bag right here. Um, so we can store our grass and stuff in there. So we're going to get started on buying some equipment. First, we're going to go here. And we're going to go to where the shop go. Here it is. So it is a bit of a drive from the shop to the farm. That's all right. So here is our shop, our dealership, nice little uh, place. So we're going to go ahead. Um, I do have, if we go to the settings here, do we have any grain in our silos? We do not. Okay, that's fine. Um, economic difficulty set to normal. Traffic is on. Dirt is normal. I have the auto engine start off. Fuel usage set to default. Um, I have the helper refill all off. Crop destruction we want off. Um, I have the periodic plowing, the lime, and the weeds on. So we will have to take that into consideration. Oops. Open shop menu. So first we're going to find us a plow. See what we all got in here. Um, I think we'll probably pick up the 26, 23, uh, 30 foot disc. Uh, we don't need any attachers on the back end of that. Yeah. Plus that saves us a grand right there. But, I mean, we do have qu a decent amount of money to get going on. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. And then we need a cultivator. Um, let's see. So we've got cultivators. Uh, we've got the tiger mate that we could pick up nice little cultivator uh, we have this great plains harrow that we could use um, we have the 2410 3 section or the 5 section either of which we could use we do have this um, I want to do some work to this and set it up so it fertilizes so when we're doing tillage you know we can run this behind with fertilizing and it does have a rigid body right in the back end that needs to be uh, unchecked uh, we have a 630 disc that we could pick up which is a nice little disc uh, we've got the landalls and some of those are a little bit bigger than I want to start with uh, what do we got in disc arrows We got the true tandem 345 that we could use. And I'm not going to stick to any one brand either on this series, at least not for now. Uh, we could get another 2623 for a cultivator, but not going to run the same thing. Uh, we do have this, but this is a little more, a little bit bigger than I want to be running right now. We may get that in the future, but for the time being, I don't want to really, don't want to really run something that heavy duty so let's see here I'm kind of deciding between the 2410 the Great Plains and the Tiger Mate I really like this Tiger Mate so I think we might run this we we'll get that Okay, and then we need something for putting down our lime. So I'll probably pick up the Wilmar. Uh, don't want to run that. See, those only require 385. So we get this. Which is a pretty decent sized buggy. And we can get it in John Deere or New Leader. I think we might do this. Hmm. Well, let's get the custom modding version. Extensions we got. Yes, no. Michelin Midas. Let's we'll run Michelin's. Do we want a beacon light? Sure. We'll get this guy. And then we need a sp 
sprayer as well. I don't really have a whole lot for pull behind sprayers. I would get the Mandaco roller, but I don't really want to get this because it only really is realistic to use for we could get this for fall fertilizing I do need to edit some stuff in the XML of this as well but we could pick this up in a sprayer so we'll get that and then we'll go with we'll go with the hardy sprayer but we're gonna get the modded one uh, Yes, for the GPS stuff. And we'll run some duels on it. Okay, now we need to get a few tractors. So we need 200, 250. That's 85. 385 so let's go here to large tractors let's get the John Deere 8970 series but we might just go with okay so we got Michelin we got Firestone and the Trelleborg let's run and Midas Let's run Firestones on it. Uh, let's go with let's go with Skinny Duels design. Big light bar. Let's go with the light bar and the two small light bars and the green star. We want GPS on it, and we can get by with the 8960 because 400 horse runs everything that we need this to run. Because this is probably going to run our disc and our um, fertilizer oh we need planters yet what am I thinking drills let's see what we got here okay I'm probably not gonna run a huge air seeder yet now Is this the one? Yes, this is the one that I want. Okay, so we want it with the seed tank and the liquid fertilizer as well. We'll put a fill level monitor on there. Why not? Yeah, we'll put that on there. See if it does any good. Okay, so we got that, and then we need a corn planter. So, might go with this, because this is the one that we were going to use in the Midwest Horizon series, but we never used it. We'll run case for our planting. Pick that up. Garage. So this needs 275 and this needs 175. Okay, so we got the big John Deere for that. Tillage and fertilizer. 187. So this could run. Let's see, 187. Look at that run. I could run this. Okay. I don't want to have a ton of tractors around either. Just kind of keep it to what we really need. Would kind of fit into this. We do have the 8000 series tractor. Let's see if I can get the, if this goes up to like maybe 300 horse. Nope. 
Okay, so the 8410. I guess just a 270. 265, 262. So 270, would that be enough horsepower? 250, 275. So we need another. Uh, we have a Massey 8700. This right here is 300 horse. I don't know that I like that though. Not really. I don't really need another big articulated tractor. I don't want to get another huge tractor. Like a big four wheel drive. We got the Puma. That goes up to 270. What else do I have in here? I might have to go with something bigger again here, too. Um, let's go with a Challenger. Let's switch some stuff up. Let's go with the MT600. Um, we'll put small weight on there. Let's put the duels on it. We don't need rear weights. We need GPS. Put the egg leader in there. So we can bump this up to 340 horse which will be perfect we don't need a front loader on it okay and then we need to get a couple of other things because I'm gonna run this series a little bit differently I'm going we're gonna buy our tank our we're gonna get pallets and whatnot of seed and fertilizer and herbicide I don't know if I can get it for lime yes I can okay so we've got lime pallets there hmm, do I want to do that I don't know so let's see what we all got back here already do we have room that we could buy more uh, I think we'll wait. We'll just take what we got back to the farm here. What's this thing? 24 miles an hour. I'm looking for what's going to be fastest to move everything. Probably this one right here. Yeah, we'll use this guy to move everything. So we get hooked onto our disc here. Now we'll head on up to the farm. First, let's get our flashers on. Oops, wrong button. Okay, maybe we'll shut them off. Now we start our nice long journey to the farm here. And this is actually the first time that I'm even playing on this map, so kind of checking things out as I go here. So we just got to buy our harvest equipment yet and then get a pickup. Uh, we'll see here about the whole... I kind of want to use totes and st or not totes but pallets and stuff for running the seed and fertilizer and the herbicide and the lime. I'm just not 100% sure yet. I don't know. We'll see. 
We still have a lot of work to do. Um, I gotta go in here. What do we have our season's length set to? Let's set that down to six days. I kind of like running six days. It seems a little more manageable to me. So we can start planting. So we're going to kind of probably run oats. Probably going to run oat, sunflowers, soybeans, and corn. So our oats and sunflowers can be planted right now. So what we're going to probably do is we're going to work the land. Uh, we're going to spread some lime because I'm assuming it all needs lime right away too. I just want to kind of figure a little bit of this out right away. Come on. Work for me here. There we go. So, remove weeds and fertilized and the plowing. So yeah, our fields all need lime. And they all need to be plowed. So we're going to put, you know, we'll go through, we'll get our lime spread and then on our oat and sunflower ground. And then we'll um, plow that up, plow and cultivate that up first. And then we'll go ahead and get started on planting that ground. And then we'll... Um, move on to working our corn and bean ground because that stuff doesn't get planted till later so want to try and get a lot of that stuff done first like I said we are going to pick up some other land because at the moment we own 46 28 and 47 then we do have this hay field up here too um, probably going to look at picking up maybe field 45. Um, let's see if this buys 44 and 43, or yeah, 43 and 44. So we maybe we'll pick up these two areas as well. Um, which will also pick up this farm up here for us um, what okay. just give me a little bit so that will give us a couple of buildings. That's what it all looks like there. It's not a whole lot. What in the world is that over there? Something's catching my eye here in this shed. I don't know what it is though. Oh. This is another animal place of sorts. Okay. I'm assuming this is another cow lot. Is what I'm guessing here. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming the triggers are right here, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I suppose it's because I don't own it. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick it up right now. Our two field, two areas that we're gonna get. So we're gonna get field 45, which is 42 acres. For two hundred sixty-four thousand one hundred and twenty dollars, and then forty-three and forty-four, which is eighty-seven point seven acres, for a little over half a million. So let's see what we got here. Hmm, there should be a trigger here somewhere. Not entirely sure where it would be. Oh, maybe because I was standing in it. No. Okay, where in the world is this trigger at then? There's got to be one here somewhere for getting them in here. Oh, here we go. Duh. Yep, this is another cow.
cow a lot, so we could put cattle here too if we decide to get into cattle. I got a little rundown building here. Can we open the door? Nope. Just an old rundown building. So like I said, I mean if you guys want to see cattle or pigs or both, you know, comment down below and let me know what you want to see. Uh, if you want to see just cows, just pigs, both. So we got another farm there that looks like another cow operation. That's Leon's farm. So we just bought Meyer's farm on top of having home place. So there's a few other farms. Baumgartner's, Leo's, there's a few others around. I mean, just from the little that I've looked over this map in Giants Editor, um, and then just the little bit that we've been playing on it, this map seems absolutely amazing. Um, I think we're probably going to be on this map uh, until, probably until the Millennial Farmer map comes out. Then we may uh, switch up to that one or maybe run both. Because uh, I really like the looks of this map. I liked Midwest Horizons, but it was getting old. And there was a lot of other new maps coming out. And when this one came out, um, I, I was heavily hoping that this would be the map that was chosen. Wasn't sure if it would be or not. Um... And I was hoping that we'd be running seasons. I like running seasons. And sure enough, this was the most heavily voted for with seasons. So there were a few people that voted, you know, keeping the uh, uh, Midwest Horizon series. There was a couple of people that voted for this without seasons, I believe. Um, There's a few people that voted Sandy Bay with seasons. You know, when I had looked, there was 36 total votes. I don't know what there is now. I haven't really looked again. Because, I mean, it was kind of clear what was winning. But, um, you know, I looked and it was heavily voted for. And, you know, there, out of the 36 votes that were there at that time, 21 of them were for this map with Seasons. So, um, heavily favored for this map. So we're going to park our spring equipment down here. And then we'll probably use the other machine shed up top for, um, we'll probably put like our truck, our grain cart, and our tractors and combine up there. And then the headers will probably just leave sit outside. Um, same with our small auger. That'll probably just sit outside. I mean, we could put a couple grain bins down as well. Um, I just want to see something once. I want to see if it'll let me reset anything or not. Um, I don't want that tractor. I want. Let's deselect that, deselect that that I want to try and select the cultivator hmm. anyway let's just try it okay and so where did that send it I'm assuming that it's still at the dealership lot Let's find out here. Um, see if we can select this other tractor. 
So that was, I believe, the fertilizer spread. Yeah, everything's still here. So, sadly, we cannot reset anything. Which is, you know, at the same time okay. Because, you know, it makes it a little more realistic to have to haul everything ourselves. And looks like it has some pretty nice ground textures, grass textures, overall the textures are very nice. And I know uh, MRG, he custom made, I don't know if it's all the buildings on here, but I know it's a very, very large portion of the buildings on the map that he custom built. Because um, I believe that he actually like replicated everything to be as exact as he could get it which is very very cool in my opinion I I like that you know the realness feel is awesome I always enjoy playing maps where everything's very realistic because I mean I enjoy playing realistically so well, we're on a straightaway here get a quick drink yeah so there's definitely a lot of room for a lot of animals on here which is very nice I mean if we do get into animals we're not gonna get into like a whole giant amount of them right away you know maybe 30 cows 30 pigs to start with or something like that if we get into them but if we do get into them, we will have plenty of room for that. Um, and like I said, let me know down below, and um, you know maybe we'll go ahead and get uh, um, the equipment ready. You know, getting a swath or a rake, a baler something to haul the bales and then feeding equipment manure spreader slurry spreader that kind of thing and I do have two um, where is it I think it's in animals um, yeah here it is I have this New Holland mixer um, I downloaded this from the Bronchoma Toys Facebook page. Um, I have the John Deere and New Holland mixer here as well, but these ones I cannot get to work. But this, if you fill it with crop, uh, it's wheat, soybeans, and corn, it'll make pig food. Um, I haven't tried it out to see if that one actually works. Um, I did have another mixer as well at one point, uh, the Gel mixer that. Polygonish had um, the model that Polygonish had, and I had that, and it that one didn't work either at all. Um, so here we got another farm. This one actually has two bins that you would need an auger to fill and unload, versus our setup with the uh, um. You know, the auger already on our bin. So I just want to get a few items cleaned out, and then we'll buy the rest of our stuff, and then I'll probably end up moving a lot of the rest of the stuff off camera. Um, otherwise, this could be an extremely long video. And I don't want to make a super, super long video, but I want to make one long enough to kind of show you guys all the equipment that we're going to be getting, and then in tomorrow's video I'll have everything put away and all that stuff sorted so then I'll be able to show you guys all that then nice livestock yard I believe that's also a cell point there um, I believe 
Yeah, there is a sell point there as well. So since we got the one disc there, we're probably I'll probably just move the rest of the stuff out of the dealer lot or like move it ahead just so we have room to buy our other few machines that we need. Probably just pull them out towards the road or something like that or out in front of the building. Because I don't know, you know, beans I've never played on here, I don't know how the dealership lot's set up. If it, when you buy stuff, it only spawns in the back, or if it spawns in the front too, or what. So we're just going to go ahead and pull all this stuff forward a little ways. But I'm going to kind of pull it out in order of how I want to take it to the farm. So let's kind of pull it into the grass here. So we got that, and then we got our fertilizing equipment. So we just got our planters left after we pull the mandaco out. So like I said, we'll probably use this in the fall. So like once harvest is done, then we can pull it out, run it over the fields, and it'll fertilize. But I'm going to set it up how it used to be set up in 17 when uh, LBJ Modding first made it to where it has a fill of one liter and a usage of zero so you basically put one liter of fertilizer in it and then it just stays full and it just fertilizes as you're rolling across I mean it's not realistic to how it is used in real life but for the game you can only do so much So this right here is kind of going to be our main workhorse. It's going to be our um, cultivating tractor. It'll be our drill tractor, our planter tractor. It'll be running that roller. It'll be running the sprayer. And it'll be running a grain cart. The only thing that's not going to be running is the fertilizer spreader and the plow. So we're going to use the big guy for those. And I mean it might occasionally get used for some of these two if you know we need to do a couple jobs at once. You know maybe have them run have course play run and doing one of the jobs and then using this for the other or something like that. You know. But it's kind of going to be our main workhorse tractor for the time being. Okay, of course it's got to do its little auto save deal here. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's pull that right there, and then we'll take this guy. We'll 
just pull him over here. Whoa. We'll shut him off. Okay, and so now we can get our harvest set up. So we'll go to combines. Um, we're going to go with... We are going to be running the same model combine. You know, we had the 9610, but we're going to be running the newly released one uh, that Sid Modding made. So we got configurations. We got Starfire. So we'll put that on Michelin. Midas. So we're going to run Michelin and Twins. We want GPS on it. And we got the 9600 and the 9610. So let's go with the bigger 9610. So we'll get that guy. And then we need a truck. Actually, and I got a request to use the 389 day cab um, on this and I actually kind of like it so I think we're gonna use it but we need to switch it to a dual a tandem axle do we want covers or no covers let's do no covers dual curve back uh, dual straight flap single straight Single so curve back. Let's go to the dual straight flaps. We have 389 style headlights, 567s, three old 379. Let's go with the old 379. Then we got. We'll run it with the red and white bumper stock, heavy hauler, low pro, low pro V2. I kind of like this bumper. Let's go with this one. We don't need global positioning on it. And we'll put a headache rack on there. Okay, and now we need to get our trailer. We can go with the Olic trailer. Uh, it's a little bigger than I want to run right now. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot I downloaded this trailer. Um, I'm going to run the Merit Super Bees. Hi. Got the Travis Classic End Dump. Hi. Got this Wilson Hopper trailer. Oh, that's a, not one that I want to run. Uh, I don't know what the difference is with that one. We'll probably just run the. We're gonna run the American Eagles modding version of the Pace Setter trailer. Uh, we got a pewter, we got stainless steel, and we got black. Let's go with pewter. So we got that. Okay, now we need some headers. So we are going to get. Eventually we'll get this guy. The uh, 645D with the air reel on it. We'll get that eventually when we upgrade. Okay, so we're going to get the same grain head that we were using on the Midwest Horizon series. We'll go with the 30 footer. And then we need our sunflower header. And then we need a corn head. Go with the 608C again as well for corn head. And then we need a grain cart yet as well. I might go with the 1051. We do have this 875. I don't know if I want to run that one. Um, we have this Kilbro's cart. 
We have the orange and we have the green. We do have the 1050 as well. Hmm. So many grand cards to pick from. <laughs> oh, we do have the V800. Maybe we'll use this one. We'll get that in. We'll get it in green. Let's get it with. See if we got something that's got duels for an option. There we go. Or we do have tracks as well. Nah, let's just run it with some duels on it. And then we need a couple header carts for our heads. So we're going to get this one. For our corn head. And we got this one here for our sunflower header. And then we need this guy for our grain head. Oh. Okay, now we're out of space again. So let's grab this guy. And let's pull the grain cart out of the way. The only thing, downside to this grain card is not having a tarp. Well, that's okay. So we're going to pull this off to the side. And we'll get our semi moved out of the way so we can get our header, our last header trailer. And then we're going to get a pickup as well. I'm just going to drop this guy here, because we are done with that for now, until I start moving stuff, I guess. Um, get this hooked to our hopper. Just move it up right there. And then grab this combine. First time I've used this combine as well, so. Clipping on the fence, which kind of sucks, but. Okay, so we got that. So we need our last header trailer. Then we need our pick. Well, uh, let's also pick up our auger while we're on this category. We're going to get this one here. We could get by with getting the Brant, but I kind of like this auger better, so. And we'll go over here. Now, which pickup to get is the question. So we got this cat eye here. Which we might get a couple pickups. And we got this one. The dually. And we got... Might actually go with this one. I like this 6.5 a lot. So we could get that one and then we could get this Ford service truck. Cause this is the only this is the only really service truck that I have. I believe. Yeah, I don't really have any other service trucks. 
Now we do have this Z71 here as well. And we could get this one I kind of like because you can do multiple colors on it. And just kind of show you. you can do different colors. Change the Z71 black and white. You got stocks, you got motor metals, you got the engine. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We'll pick up this service truck. Get it in white to match, I guess. I don't know what that's changing. Oh, that's changing our lift. Let's get that in red. Yeah, we'll get that. And then we'll get the 6.5 diesel here. Because I really like this truck. Uh, we got new silver. Scarlet red. Pearl white. Gunmetal. What's that look like? Not bad. Blaze orange. Nitro blue. Deep blue. Old blue. I don't mind that. Oops. Deep blue. That's kind of a grayish color there. Old orange. Old gray, old white, old red, old silver. Can even paint it deer green if we wanted. What's the old red look like? Eh, it's not bad. Tan. Gold. Magenta. Ooh. I like that. That's kind of a sleek look there. Plum. There we go. That's the one. Plum. Alright. Racks. We got headache rack. Um, ladder rack. Definitely not. Let's get a headache rack. We got stock dual tips. We got the 4 inch exhaust tip. We have a stack. Let's just stick with the stock duals. Grill guard. What do we got there? Got the old fashioned grizzly. We'll put that on there. Steps. Small steps. Step option too long. Step option too short. Let's go with that. Oh, we can even change the color of the bow ties. Gold. Red. Black. Let's stick with the gold. Ooh, we can take all the trim off. Let's do that. Bumper splitter. Splitter. Oh, that's that little dinky thing down below. We'll leave that on because it's got the tow hooks. Pump. Oh. Fuel pump. Sure. Toolbox. Yes, most definitely. I don't know why it says pump. Attachers. We got panel hitch. Drop hitch. Plow. Pintle with plow. Drop with plow. None. We'll go ahead and get a panel hitch on it. Specialty forge with Bajas. Ooh. American force with Bajas. Forge with pro something. Proxes, okay. Let's get the American forces with the Bajas. And that should be everything that we need. Where are my two trucks? Okay, they're there. Okay, so we got everything. Um, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to get everything moved to the farm. Because it's going to take some time. And I don't want to sit and record the entire process. Because it's going to take quite a while. So, I'm going to call it a video there. Um, and when we get back in tomorrow's video, um, I will show you guys how everything is parked up and put away. Um, oh, one more thing that I did forget that I need to buy is we need a fuel trailer. I 
That's right, they're in liquid transport. Um, not going to worry about the one with death right now. Or should I? Yeah, we'll get the one with death. And then that means we need to find a spot to put down the death pump. So that way we have a spot to get our death. Or we can just put down the death storage and I can just cheat it into, which is what I might do. Um, see if we can't put this. Actually, no, we can put it right here. Right next to the trees. That'll be a good spot for it. <coughs> Have a little concrete pad there for it, I guess. That'll work. Okay, there we go. So now we got our trailer with the def for all of our machines, because I know our Challenger takes it. This takes it. Um, I don't know if the truck takes it. And I don't think the 8960 takes def truck does take def so it is new enough and the 8960 does not so everything except for that and our auger and obviously the pickups um, are gonna take def so actually the new one might let's see here nope neither of them do so alright we're set up uh, I'm gonna work on getting everything put away and uh, ready to rock and roll so Thank you, everybody, for watching. As I said earlier, make sure you comment down below uh, if you want to see cows, pigs, or both. Um, and we will look at getting into doing that. Um, but as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you do so. And also click the little bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description where you can find my PC specs, my upload schedule, all of my social medias, as well as some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, everybody, and as always, we'll see you all tomorrow.